guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just my February favorites and I have not posted a video in so long. It's just actually been a week. It's because I just started this new job and I work Monday through Friday and when I get home I'm like exhausted so I just, I don't want to do anything. Um, so I figured out that what I'm going to have to do with this new job is just film today, Sunday when I'm filming. I film every Sunday and film all the videos for that week and then just get into the habit of doing that. So that's what I'm planning on doing. So now that I know my schedule, it should be a regular schedule again. So again, please forgive me for that, but I am back with my February favorites and it's probably gonna be a little bit long, so I'm gonna just get started right away. So first I wanna talk about products, obviously. And I have just a couple of makeup products because I did start doing some like Project Pan projects and I did my monthly kind of like it was actually a quarterly makeup basket so I have not really strayed from those things so it's kind of hard to find favorites if you know what I'm saying but I do have some for you so the first thing I'll talk about is this and this is more of like a an accessory type product but this is the Sephora daily brush cleaner and it's just a small like sample size I think they sell bigger sizes of this I'm not sure but I just got it um, at Sephora and I have this much left. I love this stuff. It has been so nice to just spray this on one of the rags I keep on my makeup desk. Just spray it on the rag because you're not supposed to apply this straight to any of your brushes. Just spray it on the rag and then rub my brush in it. That way my brushes are cleaner. That way, you know, uh, in between uses because I only wash them. I don't wash them as much as I should, but obviously I don't wash them every day. So every day I just do this when I'm about to use a new brush and it cleans it, disinfects it, gets all old product off of it. So it's been, that's why it's almost gone because I used the crap out of this. So this was like seven or eight bucks at Sephora. So I think this is a really, really good purchase if you are looking for something that's more convenient if you're always on the go like me. Next thing I want to talk about is this Highlighter, it is from, I don't know what brand this is, it's just a Disney Cinderella Fairy Glow Face and Body Illuminator, maybe by e.l.f., but I got this at Walgreens, and I don't know if they'll have this at Walgreens or not, but if you're interested in this, I would go right now, today, or tomorrow, to go look for it, because I don't know how much longer they'll be there, because um, I did just recently buy this, but I am already in love with it, it's just a full size, like this is a pretty big container full of illuminator, and I just talked about this in my last video where I did like kind of like a haul and it's just this really pretty kind of like pearly highlight color. And it looks pretty intense when you first take it out but it shares out beautifully to where it gives a nice subtle glow. I love it and I love the fact that it has Cinderella on the front. Okay, my next favorite is actually one of these Sephora birthday gifts. So you will get this for free if you're a beauty insider with Sephora and it is the Marc Jacobs little eyeliner that comes with the uh, lipstick and the little birthday gift set and I have been using this every single day almost this month just to go with the eye look because I've been using one eyeshadow for this entire month because I'm trying to pan it but this goes perfectly with that eyeshadow and so I've been using it and it's kind of like a gel consistency eyeliner so it's really really smooth so I just put a little bit on and then I smudge it out with a brush but I love it it's it's just like the perfect formula and shade for me so my next favorite is a lip product, which I also talked about in my last video because I just hauled it this month. It is the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick in the shade Embellishment. It's like a purpley toned uh, neutral color. And this formula is awesome. It is the best mattish liquid lipstick formula that I've ever tried. Way more comfortable because it doesn't dry. It is transferable though, so that's probably why it's more comfortable. It's just a lot more satiny. Holy cow, it is really windy outside. I'm sorry if you like hear weird things. It's just like, like my house is gonna fall down any time now with the wind, I'm sure. I, if you wanna watch me talk about this more and do like a swatch of it, then you should go check out the video I just did. I'll link it down below, but these are amazing. Okay, and the last product that I just got this last week, but oh my gosh, this is my new Holy Grail bronzer. This is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronze. There's bronze and light bronze. And I, first of all, the packaging reminds me of like a MAC limited edition collection packaging type thing. It's this iridescent like lime green and purple thing and it's got, you know, palm trees on it. And it is a really smooth, like it's buttery, that's why it says butter bronzer. 
And this is a perfect shade for my skin. Like I'm so fair and kind of yellow toned. This goes really, really well. And I have never found a bronzer that is this light, but you know, blends that well with my skin tone. And the other great thing about this is that it smells like coconuts. And if you guys have been following me for a long time, you know that I'm a sucker for coconutty smells. It is my favorite scent of all time of anything, candles, perfumes, anything that can be scented, I prefer it to be coconut scented. So I just like, ugh, this is amazing. It's like the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes, but like coconut instead, so. I'm in love with it. Awesome, awesome buy. If you're light skinned like me, you, I'm just gonna say you need to buy this. Like, I am certain you'll like it, so. All right, and then I have five nail polishes here that I used this month, and I don't have any pictures. I think I have like maybe one or two pictures of these, but if I have pictures, then I will insert them. The first one I wore for the Super Bowl at the beginning of the month was the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Nail Color in the shade Blue Me Away for the Panthers. I was rooting for the Panthers. Neither one of them were my teams, but if I had to pick one, I picked the Panthers. So that's why I did this. I did like a water marble with it. I do have a picture of this one that I'll insert. So I've been loving that one. The next one I've been loving is this Zoya Satin Nail Polish in the shade Brittany. And it's actually spelled just like my sister's name. So, and it's just this pale pink nude color and it's a satin formula. It's actually really unique. And if you've never tried any of these Oya satins, you need to try at least one because they're really, really awesome and perfect for when you're just feeling more mellow and want to go more natural but still feminine. It's lovely. Oh, I did a really cool manicure with this. This is the American Eagle Outfitters nail polish in the shade Gold Standard. And I did kind of like a bubble manicure with this. I don't know if I have a picture. I don't think I do. But if I do, I'll insert it. But this is a beautiful nail polish. You can't buy this anymore. Sorry, but this is not a terribly unique shade. I will try to link down in the description bar below when I list this a nail polish that is similar to it. The next one I did was this one from L'Oreal and it is a just a L'Oreal nail color in the shade The Rain of Studs and it is a glittery dusty purple color. I love this. It stayed on my nails far longer than the rest of these colors because it's kind of like a texturized glitter. So I love texturized glitter polishes. They're like one of my favorites to wear because they last a long time and they're glitzy. And this purple color is amazing. So I love that one. And then the one I have in my nails right now, that's kind of chipped, but you can see it. It is this Formula X glitter nail polish in this shade Crafty. It's got a yellow lime green shift and actually kind of has like a red shift to it in certain lights, like a rusty red. It's really, really interesting and cool. Formula X makes awesome nail polishes, so. Now I'm gonna move on to just kind of my random favorites. I've been loving a couple of new channels this month that I've subscribed to either this month or the end of January, and I've just really been loving what they have to offer, because sometimes you'll subscribe to somebody with, you know, like you look at their past videos and you're like, oh yeah, I like this, I'm gonna subscribe. So then you subscribe and then it's just like, oh, I don't know, I like their past videos, but I only like a couple that they put out, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of rare for me anyways to find a channel that I subscribe to, and I just genuinely love like almost every single video they put out. I actually found both of these girls because they commented on one of my videos, and I honestly, like, I know a lot of YouTubers don't do this, but like I love it when people comment on my videos, and they, you know, will say something about my video or whatever, and then they'll say, you should check me out. I also have a video that's like this. And that's how I find a lot of the people I subscribe to. So um, don't ever be afraid to do that. I know some people think it's embarrassing, but that's actually how I found both of these girls. And I, I genuinely love their channels. So the first one is Pugs and Pearls here on YouTube. And she, I will put the exact spelling in the description bar below. She just does like, she just kind of does a little bit of everything. She's kind of similar to the kind of videos that I do. She will do reviews, she'll do uh, like hauls and favorites videos, and she also does a lot of nail polish videos, which I think is cool because I love nail polish, and I especially love nail polish YouTubers, so she's awesome. You should check her out. And the other one that I've been especially loving this month has been Rebecca M, and I'll link her down below too because I don't know the exact, you know, like... URLs for their channels or anything, but she does project pans and I have been really trying to get into that 
and she's really good at it, it seems like. So I just, she really inspires me to do better with my project pans, and I'm so glad that I was able to find her. So you should check those two girls out. Um, a movie that I've been loving this month has definitely been Deadpool. We've been waiting for so long to finally see it, and then we went, we went on the first night, and we went to this theater that has, like, recliner seats, so it was kind of awesome. It was packed, though, and we had to sit, like, pretty close to the front, so that kind of sucked. But the movie was so funny. Even if you don't like superhero movies, it's a little bit violent, but it's not as violent as I thought it was going to be. Because I hate violent movies. I am not the kind of person that does that. I'm to watch that stuff, but I heard it was supposed to be funny, and my husband was real excited, so I went. And I loved it. It's so, so funny. If you like Ryan Reynolds especially, and if you just like funny movies, you should go check it out. It's really good. Music. So I actually discovered this song at the end of last month, but it was like right after I already filmed my January favorites, so I didn't get to include it. But Pillow Talk by Zayn is such a good song. Like a lot of people are judgmental and critical of it, but I don't, I honestly, I'm just, my taste in music, I listen to the music first, and I don't care about the artist, their past, who they are, what they're used, what they're supposed to sound like, or whatever. I just listen to the song, and I like the music, and I like the lyrics too. I'll go back and you know, think it, and just listen to the lyrics and the message, and see how I like that. And I, I love that song. I think it's awesome. Another song that I've been loving is Jason Derulo's Get Ugly. I mean, every time he comes out with a song, he's just like, it's so fun to dance to his music. Like, regardless of how stupid the messages are, like, I don't even know what the messages of his songs are. They probably don't even have any, but they're just so fun to, like, dance to and just, like, if you haven't watched that Get Ugly music video, you need to watch it. He is such a good dancer. He's really talented, and in that video, he's... He dances a lot and it's really entertaining, so you should check that out. I'll link it down below. And the last song I've been loving this month has been the new Coldplay song, Adventure of a Lifetime, I think that's what it's called. And it's so different for a Coldplay song. It's kind of more upbeat and it's like, I don't know. I don't, everyone kind of hates Coldplay. Coldplay has this weird stigma that I don't understand. Like, it's cool to hate Coldplay. And like, I feel like nobody actually knows why they hate Coldplay. They just do it because everyone else does. There's no reason to hate them. They make good music. It's the Chris Martin's voice sounds good. It all the music is not whiny bullcrap, so whatever. It's it's a really good song. So if you haven't heard that one, you should check it out as well. And as for TV shows I've been loving, Survivor started. So obviously I'm watching the new season of Survivor, Beauty vs. Brain vs. Brawn. And I am in love with it. So good. I'll shut up about that now. And then, of course, The Bachelor is coming to an end here pretty soon. He's down to just, like, what is it, like, three girls now, I think? This is the first season, kind of, where I don't hate any of the women that are still left. Like, I like them all. Uh, JoJo is still left. I kind of dislike her because the last episode I felt she was kind of being ingenuine with him. Uh, but I still kind of like her, so I don't know. I don't really have a favorite going into the last part of it, so. So that is all of my favorites for this month. If you have a favorites video, please link it down below. I'd love to watch. And if you don't, you can just list some of your favorites that you've been loving. And please subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!